Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I thought today I would hop back on the YouTube and do a little day in my life vlog, but it's not gonna be very exciting because we're in quarantine. <laughs> I thought I would just do a little day in my life. I might bake later. Um, yeah, we're gonna see what ends up, what I end up deciding to do today. So I started off this morning with um, a little workout and I did videotape some of that and I'll put that in the vlog too. So I just worked out like my arms and abs and now I'm actually getting ready. I haven't gotten ready for the past few days and I've been really unmotivated. So I have my mirror right here and I'm gonna just get ready and film a little bit of this. I might not film the whole thing, but wow. I haven't filmed on my YouTube channel in a very long time, like over a year. I think my last video was one with Jamie. He like did my makeup and that was really funny, but. So yeah, what's changed in my life since my last video, you know? Me and Jamie have hit a year of being married, so that's an accomplishment. It's been going good. Um, we have a dog. I never made a video about that, but yeah, we got a golden retriever and she is definitely a puppy but we love her and having nala has really helped me just like be less lonely but also she's crazy and having a puppy is not easy i i don't know why but i expected it to be easy but that's the thing that that being said, I'm like so happy we got her and I love her so, so, so much. But I'm kind of ready for her to be like a more chill adult dog. <laughs> I'm definitely ready for like this puppy phase to be over. She's nine months, nine and a half months, so almost 10 months old. Another thing is that Jamie works on Saturdays. So I used to like just be so bored and like not have anything to do on Saturdays. But now I like. We'll walk Nala, take her to the dog park. So there's an update on married life and puppy mom life. I'm also working on my teaching degree. So that should be done um, by this year. My classes should be done by t the end of 2020. And then my student teaching should be like right in the spring. So I think I'm going to come back to the video when my makeup's all done. And yeah, so I'll check back in later. All right, so I'm back. I just got ready. Um, yeah, I just did like, a ne what the heck is this? A piece of fuzz. <laughs> I just did a natural little makeup look. Um, and I tried to like, I wanted to try to do the wavy hair thing that I've seen everyone doing. Like you take your shirt and go, ee, ee, ee. but it did not work for me. So if you know how to do that, leave a comment down below. But anyway, I just like ran my straightener through it and kind of curled it just like some front pieces. Cause I felt like getting a little extra ready today. So I got ready and then I did a little bit of work on the computer for my work. And now I'm gonna take a break before my meeting to um, do a quick like 10, 20 minute cleanup. So, and sorry if I keep looking this way, I'm still not a professional YouTuber and I look at myself instead of the camera. So just being honest, but yeah, I'm gonna do like a 10 minute cleanup. So, but um, yeah, my house doesn't have any doors, so. That's interesting, but it is what it is. We're saving money and I'm hoping to buy a house this year by the, by like next summer. So we'll see if that ends up working out, but yeah, that's our goal. Anyway, I'm gonna do my cleanup now.
cleaned up the couch, cleaned up the floor. So I've had um, my nephew come over because, you know, he's home from preschool and he needs to continue learning. So he comes over here for like 30 minutes to an hour every day to like, you know, so I can work with him a little bit. Gives us both something to do. So, oh, yesterday I made him this little sensory bin of water beads and we did that. And then I also quickly made this little shape match game. So I like drew out the shapes and then cut them out in a paper. And then he like took the shapes and matched them. And he knows star, triangle, heart, and rectangle. As long as he knows so far. So that was pretty cute. So now I'm about to have my um, meeting for work and then I'm going to do a little bit of homework and I'll check back in later. I might bake something or I might venture out to the store to get a little craft supplies and craft something, but we'll see. All right, so I finished my meeting and I'm in the car clearly because I decided I am going to venture out to Walmart and get some stuff to make um, a few crafts that I've been wanting to make. And I don't know if this is, this is the smartest decision because we're supposed to be staying at home, but you're still allowed to go to the grocery store. So that I am going to do and go to the grocery store for craft supplies, not groceries, but and I'm gonna go to a coffee stand, which I'm not sure if I can get in trouble because like takeout and stuff is still open. So um, those who know me know I'm a 100% iced coffee drinker. And this is the worst angle ever I know, but I'm trying to be safe while I'm recording and driving. Anyway, oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm an iced coffee girl through and through. I never get hot coffee, like actually never. I only make it in the Keurig, but for some reason, <laughs> it's such a gloomy day. I felt compulsed to get an iced chai, I, not ice, a, a chai latte vanilla with coconut milk. I don't know how this is gonna taste, but I got a, a chai latte, so. Come here, come over here. Oh, did you get a treat at the coffee stand? She loves being in the car, so I figured we'll get out of the house for a second. All she's, she's normally the most energetic dog ever, and all she's been doing since we've been stuck at home is sleeping. And then at nighttime, when it's like right around her bedtime, she loses her mind. When I wanna be in bed and like allow her to come cuddle for a while, like usually I like to be like in bed for like 30 minutes to an hour and like cuddle with her before she goes to her crate for bed but she's been out of her mind crazy because she's been sleeping all day. And I'm like, play with your toys. You don't need to be sleeping all day. I'm gonna try this. Mm. It's actually very, very, very good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that was a good choice. I don't regret that. I do not regret that. Walmart and um, so I got home and then I did a little bit of homework and now I'm taking a break to work on my project. I'm going to show what I've gotten from Walmart right now. First, I got these sweatpants from the men's section. I was hoping to get white and then do a tie dye. I was hoping to get white and then do like a color tie dye, but of course they didn't have white, so they had like a light gray and a dark gray, but the um, those were only sweatshirts and this was the only matching set color. So I just chose blue and then I got like another sweatshirt. I got men's sizes medium for this. So I have bleached toilet bowl cleaner and rubber bands. So we're gonna see how that turns out. I also just got a little, I've been wanting to try this, like a little 
embroidery kit. So I figured I could try this and see how it turns out. But what I think I'm gonna do now is try on the, the sweat set and see if I like wanna crop the sweatshirt first. So I'll be right back. full body once I get this um, bleached but yeah I definitely want to crop this I'm gonna pause this and cut this and try it on again Crunch it up. Don't want it to be perfect. I don't definitely don't want it to be like a spiral. So I think I'm just gonna like scrunch it. <laughs> Alright, so I just got those rinsed off the best I could and I um, now have them going in the wash. So I'm going to put them through the wash and dryer and then the vlog will take off from there and then once I show you guys, I'll probably end it. But I have the results. Ta-da! Um, it definitely turned out a little crazier than I thought they were gonna turn out. Yeah, this pattern's definitely like, I wasn't expecting it to like take this well with the bleach. And it's kind of an odd color. It's kind of like a, I don't know why I thought it would be like light blue, but it turned out more like a, reddish gray but uh whatever it's fun it was fun to make this so I'm gonna try to back up a little bit I don't know if you can even see but yeah so I think they turned out pretty well I'm quite happy with them and yeah so if you guys want to make this too, just get a men's sweat set from Walmart and rubber bands and any kind of bleach cleaner. I use toilet bowl cleaner. Thank you guys for watching this video and um, yeah, being a part of my channel. I hope that since I'm working from home, I'll be able to make a few more videos during this time, but um, yeah, thanks for watching this video and you should definitely tag me on Instagram if you also make a bleach dyed sweatsuit. So thanks for watching. Bye guys.